Yo, what's up everybody? This is Young Byron with uh, Young Byron Channel. And I wanted to talk about this R. Kelly situation one last time. R. Kelly had, somebody had made a call saying that R. Kelly had a arrest warrant to the Chicago PD, but even though there wasn't no arrest warrant issue, they still checked it out anyway right on his birthday. And now, arrest warrant is issued for R. Kelly's former manager in Georgia for threatening one of the girls uh, that he had allegedly you know, had had them, you know, he was allegedly kidnapped them and everything. Uh, this video is on a fair use. This is for commentary news purposes uh, and also educational purposes. So listen up and here we go. Well, the family of one of his alleged victims, Joycelyn Savage, believes she's been brainwashed and they say they desperately want their daughter back. You just make the move to the nearest authority and we want to see you home and all of these girls to come home. Timothy and Jonjolyn Savage say they have not seen their 23-year-old daughter, <coughs> Joycelyn, in person for more than two years. They believe R&B singer R. Kelly is... Wow, for more than two years, imagine not seeing your daughter... For more than two years, I, I'm dealing with something, not seeing my daughter for a while, even not seeing your daughter for like two weeks still. You know, can y'all imagine that, you know? But this situation is different than my situation. But uh, let's continue. Holding her and other women against their will, starving, beating, and sexually abusing them. Are you all confident that R. Kelly will in fact see criminal charges pressed against him. No. I believe his power numbers and I pray that more young victims come out. Because of their persistent advocacy, Joycelyn's family says they were threatened by Kelly's former manager last May. According to this police report, that manager James Mason called Timothy Savage and said, when I see you, I'm going to get you. I'm going to expletive kill you. What? For real, they, so, his former manager threatened, threatened him? That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, what I think about this situation, you guys, I think I always had a really, A feeling that one day justice will reveal in this R. Kelly uh, situation, these allegations against him, allegedly. But I, you know, of course, we all know that R. Kelly, you know, did it. But you know, they call it allegedly because. They didn't have no other proof or anything like that. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, continue. Joycelyn's family says she was a... See, my... My... Uh... My vape is going dead, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, tell me what y'all think down below. Do y'all really think that uh, that R. Kelly is going to get prosecuted, uh, or do y'all think that he's going to be able to get away with it this time? Tell me down below. Let me know. Till then, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I know this commentary was very short and I didn't really say I didn't go deep into it
But next time I will, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Young Byron channel will be, you know, live streaming probably next week or something. Next Friday or something like that. So stay up, stay blessed, stay woke, and I'm out.